What's up guys, this is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com and today I am here, I am tan, and I am happy. Well, kind of happy. My wife and I just got done with an amazing Hawaiian vacation and I was able to pay for that vacation with passive income. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, well, is this, is this guy legit and is it scammy? Stay tuned, I will explain day by day exactly how much we spent and exactly how much I earned each day in passive income. But before I do that, let me go ahead and give you a quick intro that kind of shows you a little summary of what we did on our trip. Hi guys, now we are in Chicago and we're heading to Denver. Where are we going? In Denver. And where are we going? Now guys, we are officially in Hawaii. You're here. Now we are going to the hotel. Ron is ready, driving. He's super excited. <laughs> Such a nice day today. All right guys, so now we are officially at our hotel and it is awesome. A doozy. And now guys, we're by the ocean. And now you guys, we are on the most active volcano on earth. It's insane. That's from the volcano. It's not a cloud. And now guys, we're at a black sand beach. First one I've ever been to. We're on a business. And you guys are probably wondering how Passive Income made this all possible. In today's video, I'm gonna explain that to you. Cheers. All right guys, so that is the quick intro, but stay tuned, because there's a lot more that we actually did, and I wanna show you some videos and kind of talk you through. It was an awesome vacation. If anything, I guarantee you that you will enjoy the footage that I'm gonna show you here. So, when we started this vacation, the first thing that we had to do is we had to get a hotel, we had to get a rental car, um, you know, all the, uh, the normal stuff, right? Uh, in flight, obviously. One of the things that was really helpful for me is that when I booked these, I was able to use miles to do this. So my usual fee of you know the, the flights uh, for myself and my wife, um, the rental car and the hotel were essentially non-existent, right? So that took a huge chunk off the top, which was nice because Hawaii is pretty expensive. Um, it took us about 500,000 miles. I've been saving those miles up for 18 years in case you're wondering. I've actually gotten a lot more miles as of late because now I have a business, which helps me and enables me to get a lot more miles because I spend a lot more money. But I've been saving those miles up for a long time for my honeymoon. This was our basically our honeymoon. So that was one thing to help. That said, we still had expenses associated with those things. And I want to tally those up before we go into each day, okay? So the first thing was even though we got our rental car with miles, we had to get car insurance, which came out to $380.48. Next, we had to pay for our flight, which Miles took care of most of it, but I did have to pay $22.40 um, for, I don't even know, booking fee. I don't even know what it was, to be honest with you. And then next, I had to pay for, even though, hotel was, even though the hotel was free, I had to pay for a resort fee and parking. Of course, they got me on that, which was $677.84. So in total, before we even got to Hawaii, we spent $1,080.72, okay? That's the first thing to understand. So to make this easy, what I'm doing is every single day, I'm just adding the average. Uh, we stayed there for eight days, so I'm adding the average of how much that cost per day to make it so that you know we have a, a running sum of what I spent each day, right? So in other words, I'm going to add to the expenses I had every day, I'm gonna add $120.08. I'm doing that, that additional money, that's what it's referring to, those additional charges. So day one, you guys, we got in, we were pretty tired, to be honest with you. Um, you know, there is a four hour difference. Hawaii is four hours behind Chicago, which is where I'm located. So it took us a little bit to get used to that. So the first day was pretty chill. We basically got in, kind of walked around the resort. I'm gonna show you some videos of that real quick. So you can see here, here's a video of the resort. Beautiful, beautiful place. Um, it was the Hilton in Waikoloa Village. Uh, very expensive, but also very, very nice. Palm trees everywhere, really looked like paradise, generally speaking. Probably the coolest part about this hotel is that they had a man-made lake, so you can see it here. The interesting thing, and you can't really tell from this video, but this actually feeds directly into the ocean, which was pretty incredible to see um, and the way that they built it. 
Next, and this was an absolute first, they had a freaking monorail in the hotel or in the, in the resort, you guys. You can see it here kind of taking us along. Um, that's one of the buildings that, well, that's the building that we stayed in. But basically, it was so big, they had to have a monorail there, which was really cool. And then the fourth, which was a surprise, I don't know if they held a tennis tournament here at some point, but they had like a full tennis court with seats, and I was joking with my wife here saying I was ready to take her on in tennis. I'm ready. I'm ready. So day one, we really didn't have a ton of expenses because we had just gotten to the island. And by the way, if, if you're wondering, we stayed on the big island of Hawaii, which is Hawaii, right? There's Hawaii and there's a bunch of little islands. We stayed at Hawaii, the big island, the whole time. We always were there. So that first day, basically, we were pretty tired, you know, jet lag and everything. So we didn't spend too much. Basically, what we did is we went to the grocery store, which may sound weird to some of you, but one of the things that we do, we don't like to spend a lot of money on breakfast and lunch and on our vacations what we do is we go to nicer dinners so we usually try to go to a grocery store early on just to grab food to keep in the room to snack on and then you know we'll go for a nice dinner later in the day so we basically went to the grocery store we did get a breakfast because it was just too hungry when we landed there and we also did get dinner that day so the total day one expenses were 369 dollars and 33 cents okay those are the expenses for what we did Add the additional $120.08, which was the daily average expenses that I explained in the beginning about you know, the car insurance, the flight, and the resort fee and parking. So you get a total of expenses on day one of $489.41. Now, the good thing is my day one passive income from my websites and everything else that I do was a total of $829.25. So in day one, which was pretty awesome, and I didn't really look at any of this until after, so it's cool to see it now, uh, I was able to actually make $339.84, even though I didn't touch a computer all day, I wasn't focused on work at all, I still was able to make that money through passive income, through my websites and everything else. So that was a pretty cool feeling. Day one was a big success. So let's get into day two. Day two was another great day, uh, but it was one of those days that we were still kind of jet lagged dealing with everything. Um, so basically all that we did was we did a, a nice little bike ride. We kind of hung around um, the resort and you know did that kind of stuff and relax. I'm gonna show you a quick video of the bike ride so you can see kind of some of the stuff that we saw, uh, the beach, and also we were able to see a sunset that day, which was really, really pretty. So here's the first video of the bike ride. Nothing really too special. You can kind of see the ocean there and the, uh, in the distance, you can see Toledo riding around in front of me there. And then part two of the same bike ride, you see a big old mountain there, you see the ocean there. Again, super pretty place, there's the mountain again. Super pretty place, but nothing really special in this one. We did end up stopping by the beach with our bikes and kind of sat there and you know breathed everything in, which was really cool. You could tell that this is really, really pretty here. Um, the thing that kind of shocked me about Hawaii, which I didn't really realize and I probably should have, is the fact that Hawaii has a lot of really rocky beaches. And that's because a lot of the islands and everything were created by the runoff from volcanoes. Basically, the lava that comes down and hardens, that's what makes up a lot of the islands. So there's a ton of rocks there, which was kind of a shock to me. Probably shouldn't have been a shock. That was kind of dumb to me to uh, not realize that. Um, so there are, there are sandy beaches, and we'll get to some of them. Um, but that was kind of one of the things I was like a little bit surprised at when I was there. And lastly, on that day, we did catch a sunset. You can see here, super pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty sunset. Um, absolutely beautiful. Breathtaking paradise, whatever you want to call it. It was really, really cool to catch this. I was really happy um, that we were able to do that. So day two, we didn't have too many uh, expenses kind of uh, pile up. We basically had the bike ride, um, we had dinner, we had some ice cream, we had gifts, and we had lunch. Now keep in mind when I say these numbers, you know, in like day two, for example, uh, we ended up spending a total of $495.76. Most of you out there are going to think that is absolutely crazy. You must be going to super nice places. No. The truth is Hawaii is incredibly expensive, right? So although we spent $495.76, we weren't going to super fancy places. It was just something that that's kind of the cost. Uh, that being said, we did spend that much, but I ended up making a total of $792.01 on day two. So that means that at the end of the day, I was able to bring home again a total of $296.25. So even though I didn't really work at all, 
Uh, that was, again, another profitable day, and we ended up making some money that day, which was pretty awesome. Now, day three, guys, this was the expensive one, and this was, frankly, the best one. Uh, my wife and I, this was actually on Valentine's Day. We had gone to uh, whale watching in the morning, uh, waking up with the whales, as they called it, and then we ended up also going to a luau, which is the traditional Hawaiian dance when they scream and I yell and everything, and then uh, we actually saw, like, a fire dance, which I've never seen in, in at all before and that was really really cool so let me show you some quick videos of that because you got to see these all right so here you can see there is a whale in the water and that big scary shadowy figure that is a whale and he was super super close it was really really cool um what we were able to do here and see how close this thing actually got i'm going to fast forward just a little bit to show you he did fully breach the water there it is he fully breaches the water here and i'll be quiet so you can hear it oh my gosh You can definitely hear it's, Toledo yeah, a lot there in the background. The it's right here now. So there it's it is. You can see it's still in the water. So that thing was circling around us, which was really, really cool. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Um, but even cooler than that was this. Okay, so you can see in this video here, that is the whale. The whale was actually trailing the boat. Even the people who owned the boat were saying, we never see this. This is like one of the craziest things they had seen. And they were doing it their whole life, right? So you could see the whale popping out of the water. It was looking at us, it was hanging out with us. It was really, really cool. And actually it ended up spraying us with the water coming out of it, which was something that I'm sure will never happen again in my life. So I'm going to show you that's coming up here. I believe it's right here. So he's gonna come out and actually spray us. So that, everyone was really excited about that. That was really, really, really cool. So the thing about um, that is that whales don't usually do that. The behavior was um, a little alarming even to the, the captain of the boat. He ended up just kind of hanging out there. We stayed there for like five, 10 minutes. This thing has kind of trailed us and hung out with us. But eventually the captain said, well, hey, we got to go. And they kind of got away. But everyone was saying, this is not a common thing. Um, if you've ever been whale watching before, usually you see it at a distance. Like the first video I showed you, this was something special. Um, it was really, really cool to see. Okay, so next on the same day, we ended up going to a luau at night. That was really, really cool. Um, we, you know, there's a lot of different things, but we saw a fire dancer. For this, I'm just gonna let you watch it for 20 seconds because this guy was unbelievable. What was really cool is he was actually a chief from a, uh, a neighboring island. He was Samoan and he had actually come to the island to put on the show. He does this um, time to time and, and we were lucky he just so happened to be in the area when we were there. So let's go ahead and watch. <laughs> Getting all excited. Okay. So more of that, more of the same, right? The guy was incredible. He kept doing that. You will notice that he did drop the fire stick. But I always, I was laughing with Talita, my wife, about that because I was saying, who's going to yell at this guy, right? He's a, he's a big dude and he's literally dancing with fire. So I don't think many people are going to cross him. Um, so that was really, really cool. The luau was a pretty awesome experience. So day three, again, this was the expensive one for obvious reasons, guys. Uh, these experiences will last a lifetime, but they do cost a little bit of money. So uh, in total, in day three, we spent uh, among the, the luau, lunch, and whale watching, um, and actually an Uber to and from the luau because I wanted to drink, just got to be honest, uh, we ended up spending $683.56. But I still had passive income coming in. So in that day, we ended up making $645.47 from passive income. So the day three total income, this was the only day that was negative for me, unfortunately, but I'll take it, was negative $38.09. But again, you guys, those experiences that I was able to uh, have myself, that will never be replaced. And I don't even care, that was money very well spent. Now day four, you guys, day four was really, really cool as well, but I didn't get a lot of video. The reason why I didn't get a lot of video was pretty simple we ended up going swimming with dolphins, right? And everyone thinks, well, you had to get pictures and video of that. 
we didn't. And the reason why we didn't is because we actually went swimming with wild dolphins, dolphins in the wild. We weren't in some sanctuary or some type of pool where they're hanging out. We didn't do any of that at all. We actually went with the dolphins uh, out into the ocean. We went by a school of dolphins. We swam with them. Really, really cool. They got close, but not too close, um, you know, but because they are wild dolphins. But they were kind of curious and coming around us. We also saw some coral reefs and stuff um, and did just basically some snorkeling and stuff, uh, which was really, really cool. But unfortunately, we didn't get pictures of that. That said, I did get a little picture to give you an idea of what the... Um, the, the beach town that we were in, what that looked like, which was pretty cool. So this is the beach town here. You can see there's not much to it. I mean, you know, it's a pretty little place. Um, there's Toledo. And, you know, this was pretty much the little area that we were in before we ended up going to uh, actually go and swim with the dolphins and everything. And I'll tell you guys, I really wish I had video from that day because, you know, there was a dolphin that swam like right under me, which was really, really neat. A little scary, a little nerve wracking because those things move fast through the water. Um, but it was super, super cool. And you could actually, probably my favorite part about it, when you were underwater, you could actually hear the dolphins. You could hear the noises that they were making. Not all of them, but you could hear some of them, which was really, really neat. So the total expenses for day four was $547.34. Of course, I was able to make passive income from my websites and my business. And that total came out to $618.16 of income made that day which brings our total day four net income to $70.82. Didn't make a lot of money that day, but you know what? Again, I had awesome experience. Um, and you know the fact that I was able to experience all that and still make money on top of it was pretty amazing. Now day five, you guys, I gotta admit, it was a little bit lame. Um, we, I don't even know exactly what it was, but days one through four, we were doing, running around doing all this stuff. Day five, I was tired. I was just gassed. I couldn't do anything. Toledo was tired. We were just kind of exhausted. So honestly, we didn't do a whole lot. We basically drove to a few different beaches, nothing even worth taking pictures of, some of the stuff that you've already seen. Um, we went to a, uh, a dinner slash lunch kind of in between their thing. Um, and then we also went back to the grocery store because we had to get alcohol because we were drinking. Uh, so uh, the expenses on this day were pretty low, but also the fun level was pretty low. Um, I will say one thing that I did get was the best fries I've ever had in my life. Okay, so what you see here are what they call volcano fries. They were at a place called Huggo's, which was right on the water. These were volcano fries. These are the best fries I've ever had in my life, and I've had a lot of fries. I just had to talk about them because honestly, the food in Hawaii really surprised me. I didn't like a lot of the food. I tried some fish, chicken, beef. I tried a lot of everything. I didn't love the food, which was a shock to me. Um, I don't know if it was the general area that we were in, but for whatever reason, I didn't love it. But these fries, oh, nice. I'm including them in this video because they were so good. They were incredible. Um, you can see the sauces were on there. Some was sweet. Some had a little bit of tang to it, a little spice to it. So, so good, you guys. So day five, you guys, was a little lame, and I know that. Um, not a whole lot to show you other than those fries, which were amazing. Basically, we just did uh, lunch and dinner, and we filled up the car with gas. That was pretty much it. The total expenses for that day were $414.73. Of course, I was able to make passive income, and the amount that I made that day was $618.16, which means that my net income for that day was $203.43. Okay, so day six wasn't anything spectacular either. What we ended up doing, because uh, we we're still kind of dealing, I don't know why we got so tired in the middle of the trip, but we just did. But we, what we ended up doing is we ended up staying at the resort and kind of enjoying the resort. So there was definitely still some stuff there worth doing. Um, and really all that we did that was kind of memorable that day was we did one of those foot paddle boats in the area. I showed you in, in the beginning how they had the man-made lake. So this is actually a video um, of exactly that. Okay, so you can see in this video here, this is taken from the perspective of my wife because I wasn't gonna hold a phone while I was trying to do this. Um, but this is actually the, the man-made pool thing that they had. Really, really cool place there. We used this foot paddle boat. We were terrible. It was very windy, we almost hit someone there. Um, it was like impossible to steer this thing. But again, super pretty place. You could see we were just kind of riding this thing around. And that's really what we did that day. We kind of just hung around the resort way, way easier. We were pretty uh, pretty tired. Um, but you could see by the, the trees there, super windy day. So it made it really, really difficult to ride this stupid little paddle boat. So that day we didn't spend a whole lot of money. Uh, we did the foot paddle boat thing that you just saw. We actually spent $90 on that, which was ridiculous price for it. Uh, it was like an hour. And then we also had lunch and dinner. So the total expenses for that day was $434.88. 
However, again, passive income to the rescue. That day I did really well. I ended up making $884.48. So the net income in day six was a total of $449.60. Okay, so on day seven, we had one of the best days. It was actually a pretty cheap day because we basically took our uh, rental car and drove down. We drove down to a black sand beach and also saw uh, one of the most active volcanoes in the world and we're there. That was breathtaking. Let me show you some quick video of that. Okay, so this was the first beach we went to, which wasn't a black sand beach, as you can see, um, but really, really pretty. Kind of gives you an idea. They do have some sandy beaches there. Really, really pretty place. Um, had a lot of fun at this one. After that, we ended up driving for quite a bit. And you can see this was really cool. It was like on the tip of the island and we were basically surrounded by water and we were able to go to the black sand beach that was near this area, which was amazing. So you can see here, guys, this is a black sand beach. You can kind of tell um, those rocks there on the sides. It's all black. Uh, it was like legit black sand, really fine black sand, really cool. I've never been on a full black sand beach. You can see how hard some of that waves were hitting. Really, really pretty um, to see this, really enjoyed this. Uh, it was, you know, a real sight to see. It was absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, after that, we ended up going to a volcano. You can see here, this is actually a steam vent in the volcano uh, or near the volcano. So basically what's happening there is all the smoke that's coming up from the ground, that's steam from the volcano below. So we're standing on the volcano. It was really, really cool. And this next video, this is actually the volcano itself. This is the crater right in the middle of the volcano here. Um, you can see that big white area in the middle there. That's actually down there is where lava and all that is. You can see here uh, that smoke rising basically. That is steam again coming up from the volcano itself. So this was a volcano that erupted in 2018, um, but absolutely breathtaking to see this in person. So although day seven had a lot of experiences, it was actually a very cheap day because we ate in our room. Uh, we didn't really go out and get a lot of food. We ended up getting lunch that day. We ended up obviously getting some uh, gas for the car and that's pretty much it. The rest of it, we kind of just did ourselves and everything else was free. So the total amount that we ended up spending in day seven was $346.72. But my passive income really came through this day and I made a total of $900.33 on day seven, which brought my net income for the day to $553.61. Day eight, and this was really the last day of the trip. Basically, my wife and I, uh, we hung out kind of in the, um, in the area of Kona, which is a city, uh, that kind of a beach town. We hung out there most of the day, didn't do too much during the day, but we ended up going to a cruise at night, which was Absolutely gorgeous. You'll hear me say beautiful, gorgeous a lot because Hawaii really is. Um, so I wanna show you a quick video of that. All right, so you can see here that we're on the cruise, just open water, uh, pretty much as far as the eye could see. We were in the middle of the ocean. Um, you know, the clouds were really, really pretty that day. Um, that's pretty much what the cruise was in general. One thing that was really cool is we caught a rainbow while we were uh, on the cruise. I thought this was really pretty, so I snapped this picture. And then my wife and I had to take this picture. She looks really good. I don't look so good in this picture, but whatever. It was a beautiful picture. Uh, really nice people took it for us, so I thought I had to include that one in here. And then we finished it with this sunset at the end, you guys. This, I think, speaks for itself. Um, you know, the sun just setting over the water there. Absolutely beautiful. Orange sky, as far as the eye could see. Really, really, really pretty to see in person. I loved seeing this. So in day eight, we basically had the cruise. Uh, we had a breakfast, we had groceries, and we had to get um, some gelato. I had to have some gelato and then a little bit more gas. So the total amount that we spent on that day, including everything, was $613.42. However, again, passive income to the rescue. I ended up making $905.68. So my net income for day eight was a total of $292.26. So after all the numbers that I threw at you guys and all the different days, you're probably wondering, well, how did I turn out for the whole trip, right? Did I make money? Did I lose money? How did it all work out? So let me just break down the total numbers for you. So in total, I spent $4,392.13 on my entire Hawaiian vacation trip. That includes the hotel, airfare, any of the fees that I had there. It includes everything related to everything that we did, all the videos that you just saw, that is included in that number. Now, as expensive as that is, I also was earning money from my passive income while I was there, and that number actually exceeded my expenses. So I earned a total of $7,077.90 while I was in Hawaii, which means that my total profit while I was on vacation, 
not working, enjoying life, and letting passive income do its own thing was $2,685.77. Or if you wanna break it down by day, basically all the experiences that I did, I was able to make $335.72 per day while I did all these different things. How powerful is that, you guys? That is the beauty of passive income. I've created a business over the last about six years and it continues to pay me to this day. And now I'm at this point to where I don't even have to work and it's making me that much money. It's not easy to do, but it can be done. So guys, if you like this video, please do me a favor. It took a ton of time to put together. Please click on that like button. Also click on that subscribe button. By clicking on like, it'll make sure that more people can see this video and I'm always appreciative of that. And clicking on the subscribe button, make sure that you don't miss out on the new content that they have coming. I wanna make sure you don't miss out. I want you as part of my community. So make sure you do that as well. All right guys, so that's it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It took a lot of time to put together, but it was a really cool video to go over. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, you know, some of the best things that I did, or if you have any questions, I'd be totally happy to answer them. All right guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.